between you're either crystal clear or you've vanished, you know. And, it's, you know, it's down to internet problems or something. Perhaps your kids are on there. So yeah, I'm, I'm talking to Chris, it's uh, 20 UKH Digital Analog Ham. Yeah. And, uh, uh, a little signal we're getting off him on DMR. I don't know if got ISS is in the background. <laughs> so yeah, I'm still talking. And it's Chris, Digital Analog Ham. Talking about the All-Star node. It's something to get into. And uh, yeah, I'm having a great QSO with Chris. Like you said, that. That range when I went out up and into the woods was quite spectacular. To, uh, all you need to know, and I've got a shoot off because I'm just done. Chris, I'm just, digital uh, analog just ham. Here, so Great guy. Recording a bit of your audio just at the end there, you know, just, just to uh, encourage you how how good it sounds, you know, because I'm, I'm very critical on the audio because I know how good it how good it can be, and a lot of people are too loud or too quiet or dropping out, so just recorded a little clip I'll send that to you in a moment so 7-3 and uh, we'll catch you next time excellent mate have a great evening what's uh, ahead and uh, yeah thanks for the chat from M0YKF catch you later mate bye for now so yeah that was uh, Chris from 20 UKH digital analog ham from YouTube and a, a great QSO we had there on the DMR radio so I'm using the Retivis RT3S and that was, uh, I just uh, programmed Chris's ID number into a memory channel. And, uh, and that was pretty much it. Put, set it as a private call. Although I did say they still can be monitored, obviously, by others in close proximity. I'm not really worried about that. It's just the word to turn private call as opposed to a talk group. Where, obviously, multiple people are monitoring that particular channel. So we just kind of had our private two-way connection using DMR radio. So that worked out really well, and uh, obviously a uh, nice guy. Uh, check his channel out. Some of his videos are awesome. He's really into the digital stuff and the analog stuff. So he's got a range of stuff. We talked about um, uh, freestyle, all kind of stuff. We had a great chat. So I'm looking forward to the next one. So yeah, this is a great radio. We can put it on the uh, analog just by simply clicking the button there. We're on analog, and then click it back to the D DMR. So yeah, a few talk groups programmed in. They've got the All Star. Um, actual talk group through Bandmizer and I've got a few others in here so the usual stuff working really well for me we've had it on the uh, talk group 91 quite a bit done a bit of checking in to the net a couple of times enjoy listening and uh, I've got it on in the background when I'm uh, doing a bit of washing up in the kitchen so yeah we're really enjoying playing with this uh, little Retivis and obviously uh, the satellite side of it, I'm going to be running that one and uh, showing you that in action. So let's put, bring it in the menu, you can see the various choices. I'm using the Open GD77 software. Uh, I'll give you a full rundown with it on the satellite mods when I uh, get outside uh, one of these fine evenings. So right now, I'm just talking about using this on DMR through my Pi Star, which is that you can see on the screen in the background, I've got the digital voice dashboard which shows me all the stations that have come through my particular Pi Star, depending on what kind of, uh, what channel I'm listening to or talk group. So I normally got it on uh, one of the active ones and that gets quite uh, a list of stations that are working through it. So tonight it was me and Chris. So this is a different little video using the Retivis RT3S DMR radio. And I was using one walk, uh, walking around, heading outside a little bit. That I didn't catch on video, but I just checked it out and the uh, super clean clarity. So great stuff, enjoying it. And hopefully yeah, you might try it out sometime. This is a great choice of radio because it does both digital and analog. And with the Open GD77 software programmed in, which you have to do yourself, it's a type of firmware that's been created. It's really good. The guys who've made it done an awesome job. That will make it capable of working on the satellites with the full satellite tracking like we, like we said earlier. So all that's going to be uh, coming up on one of our next videos. And uh, you've been watching M0YKS. Uh, hopefully you'll catch uh, a next one real soon. And thanks for hitting the subscribe, like and all the rest of it. We'll see you again.